Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Erica or Ricky Mickey Plans if you're catching me on Instagram. And I am here to plan in my classic size happy planner. Did you hear that? Happy planner. I don't know where that came from. Happy planner for the week of January 25th through the 31st. I'm going to take my pages out of my planner, move this off to the side. And then this is sort of my inspiration. Um, it's my husband's birthday this week. His favorite colors are blue, hence the nails, and purple. And so I wanted to do blue and purple. And when I think of blue and purple, I think of, you know, celestial stuff. So this book has a few references to stars and things like that. So this may get used a little. This book, I really wanted it to work, but all the purples in here don't have blues. They have pinks like this. Um, see, even the washi, it's, blue, it's purple and pink, and I wanted purple and blue, so I don't know if this book will get used, but it's here. And then this one, Free Spirit, of course, has, you know, some stars and things like that in it. And then for washi, I've got a navy blue, I've got a sparkly blue, I've got a sparkly purple, I've got a pattern blue, pattern purple. That's kind of what I'm going with. And, whoo, that went flying. I'm going to kind of, <laughs> my washi's rolling away, talk about making your own stickers because if you're in the boat I'm in where the sticker books you find aren't quite perfect for what you want, make what's perfect. This is, this is what I made, so this is what I'm gonna be using most of the time, supplemented by these. All right, I'm going to check and see if everything I'm doing is on frame, because I can't see today. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I've shrunk. <laughs> I hope I haven't, because I'm actually really short, and that would be bad. Okay, so I plan with post-it notes. This is the beginning of a to-do list. I'll get that marked later. I do a running to-do list down here on the side for the week. Everything you see here is kind of a list of reoccurring events, things that happen every week. And so I just plan with them on post-its so I can move them around. And we've had a few changes. Number one, this game night is now gonna be on Thursdays. I don't know that I approve of a game night on Thursday nights, but it has been moved. Violin lessons don't actually start up till next week, so I'm gonna go ahead and move that post-it to the next week in my planner. And I'm gonna have to make another post-it because they've added a third dance practice to the week. So there will be one here, but I just don't have a post-it made for it yet. So there we go. I think I'm gonna start with the washi. So I made my own little washi strips here. You can't tell it's washi, it just looks like a big blob, but I made it into washi, right? So I'm gonna start, let's see here. Do I want to start with this, or do I want to start with like a big, bold washi on the bottom? I'm going to put this away, and I think I'm going to start with something bold on the bottom. So, that's a little too light. I may not pull that in. This is beautiful, but it's a little wide. This is kind of perfect. I feel like it's a vertical washi, but... Yeah, see, that just feels like it should go this way and not this way. What to do, what to do, what to do. Go with the wide one, or do I cut it? I think I'm gonna cut it. So to cut washi, there are two ways. One, you can use a paper trimmer. I don't like doing that. I don't know why, but I just don't feel a good amount of control when I do that. So I use my, um, what do you call this thing? Cutting mat. Roll out some washi. I line it up on the line here because washi, I don't know if you've ever had this happen, but washi can kind of go wonky and not so straight as you're putting it down. It's not, you know, it's a pretty pliable material. And then I'm gonna double check because I haven't done this in a while, how tall I need this. All right, and the see-through ruler is awesome for this because now I can line this up with the edge of the washi. So I've got these little lines, this little grid on my ruler that I can line up. And then I don't have to push the knife hard, but I do have to push the ruler harder. It'll slip out. 
slide it along. And voila, I have washi in the width I want. In the width I want. And I will take this and pull it along here. See, it fits under there perfectly now. Simple, simple, simple. So I often will buy washi that's wider than I want, knowing that I can do this and that I don't have to do this if I want it bigger. Gives you the, oh no, it didn't go long enough. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut, cut another strip now. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's never happened to me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. I'm really sad, but this is the last week of the month and I don't really use this, the back of these. So I'm gonna scotch tape this from the back. If I used this page, this, um, what do you call it? I don't even know what this part's called. If I used this, I'd probably be sad, but I don't. So I think it's gonna be fine. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna cut some more washi. All right, crisis averted, washi is done. So now I'm gonna take this strip that I made and I'm gonna put it in the working section. And I'm, it's kind of blacker on the edges, so I'm going to not use the black part and just put the bluish purple part on. And I don't know how this will tear since it's not really washi, it's sticker paper. I don't know how to cut either, apparently. There we go. So making your own stickers, I've talked about this before if you've watched my channel, not that complicated. I do use a, you know, fancy schmancy sticker machine, sticker cutter, not sticker machine, sticker, it's a cutting machine. <laughs> I do have a cutting machine that I can, you know, cut these out with, but you don't have to. You can just make text boxes and cut them out by hand and it's totally fine. So don't get all worked up that you don't have the right um, equipment to do it. In fact, I'll do a sticker here at the end that isn't on sticker paper and wasn't cut out with my fancy schmancy cutting machine and I'll show you. But you gotta stick around with, till the end to see that now. So this washi, this homemade washi, I'm just using on the working section of the planner just to mark it a little bit differently than the bottom washi. And the bottom washi is just a color wash for me. Not much purple in that one, but that's okay. I like patterns that are varied anyway, so that is all right. Ooh, I don't know about that. I think it works. This just seems really not matchy, but it does match. We'll see, we'll see if it works out in the long run. I can always pull it off if not carefully though, so I don't rip the page again. All right, like I said, it is my husband's birthday this week. So I made this sticker and I'll try to hold it up for you to read it. Um, on the night of your birth, the moon smiled down with such wonder that the stars peeked in to see you. No, it is not my quote. Yes, I did get it off the internet but I loved it and so that's gonna be kind of my theme sticker for the week. Oh, happy, happy, happy. And then I do want to mark his actual birthday and I think I'm gonna use this square sticker. Do I put it at the beginning of the day? I think I do. I think I do. And then I made this little happy birthday. Now something like this would be slightly harder to do without a cutting machine, but definitely again, not impossible. Happy birthday, and yes, I'm disclosing his age on the internet. <laughs> Any of you who know us in person now know his age. So there you go. And I messed something up there. I didn't want to put that all the way at the top. And you will see why in a moment. I'm gonna keep that as if it's one sticker and just stick it off to the side. I didn't want to put it at the top because I need to put down my hybrid schooling stickers and I want to do that on washi. My hybrid schooling stickers that I make 
are, I wonder if this is too wide. I think I'm gonna cut this too. Let me show you what I mean. So my hybrid schooling stickers I make are white and so I don't want them just on the page. I want them backed in washi. But I think if I cut this shorter, not shorter, narrower, it'll still work with these stickers. I don't need it to be this full width. So I'm gonna cut some more washi. All right, so now I will take this newly narrowed washi and I'm gonna put a little space here just so you can tell it apart from the celestial looking stuff. I guess I could have put my hybrid stuff on the celestial looking stuff, but I really wanted to keep that pattern strong. I didn't want that to go away. If you're wondering why I did that one, at first I didn't think about it, but I was just gonna cut this stuff in half so I didn't need to. And then after that, I cut the first one wrong. Didn't get a clean cut, so. Turns out I needed both of them laid out anyway. Happy accident, right? Okay, so let me move the cutting mat out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and put my hybrid schooling stickers down. Okay, so now I will go back and put the happy birthday sticker down. I'm trying to keep that area of white and this area of white rather similar. Okay, that should do. Oh my goodness, I've got stickers sticking to everything. Okay, let's let's do the functional stuff real quick here. So when I make stickers, I always fill up every space I can with extra little boxes. These are, I believe, called label size boxes. If you are getting them from Happy Planner or from someone on Etsy or something, I like this size box a lot. Um, it's just a good size box in my opinion, so I make a lot of these. Now this here is for, the bottom one is for Shot and Trash Night, the one I'm working on now is for a meeting my husband has every week. Oh, look at that, I forgot. I have to put that on my planner over to the side. So, there are reoccurring events, so I move them over, right? And then dance. Let's get a few of these for dance. Okay, and I will be putting these in what I think of as the evening area of my planner. I think of that in general, not, not exact. This is like daytime and like all day, you know, cause that's all day. This is evening and night. And then the middle is mostly to-do lists. It's not an exact system, but it's a general idea of what I do. So that game night will be in the pretty late. There's dance practice. I want to use a different size sticker for that dance practice. It's a uh, rather or out of the ordinary. It's not out of the ordinary. It's a new system. It's a new place. It's a new everything. So I want to mark more information in it than the normal dance practice. The small label stickers work for me because as you'll see in a minute, I can just put an icon and then the time because I know where they are, but this one, they've changed the place and the time and all that, so I wanna mark that it's different and so I have more space to do it. So this dance sticker gets moved to next week. Calc Night is back in session. I'm gonna use a bigger sticker because we haven't had that in a while. Um, I'm gonna move this up too because my daughter has to somehow be at both that night. I don't know how they're gonna work that out. But that's their problem, not mine, right? But we haven't had calc, she hasn't had calc night in a while because we've been virtual. But now that we're hybrid, I think they'll bring that back. So move that to next week. Dance night and game night, move those to next week. Need another game night here. We do these virtually. They are fun, they are goofy. 
um, but we have a great time doing it. So I'll move that to next week. Church is online. I think I want to see if there's a different kind of sticker I can use for church. Let's see if there's something in one of these books that I could do. I don't know why, I just can. See again, the purple has the pink and the orange in it. I don't want that. I don't want that, I want blue. That would be so perfect if it didn't have that pink in it. Urk. All right, nothing in that book. I don't know, just for variety, I feel like I could use a different box. Like one of these. It's got little stars in it, I don't know if you can see it. And it's got a purple today. Should just go with that, I found it, right? Why am I still looking? This is what I do, I find something, I say it works, and then I go look to see if there's something better. If it works, it works. Go for it. So, church, move my post-it, and I will put this down here. And again, I'm trying to keep that white space and this white space similar, just because I think it's easier on the eye that way. And another dance practice. I have run out of label size stickers, so I will have to get some from my stash. And like I said, I just always make extras when I can, so I have a bunch. Love black stickers, just plain black stickers. I'm picking things up with this instead of my fingernails because even though it's blue polish, my fingernail polish is leaving like reddish streaks when it scrapes against things. Don't know what's up with that. Move that to next week. All right, that is my nitty gritty, I think. Let me double check and make sure I got it all. And I'm looking at my Google calendar if you're wondering what I'm doing. Got a meeting? Oh, there is a school meeting this day. I have a faculty meeting this day. Again, it'll probably be Zoom, but I still need to mark it. And it's under the paper clip, there we go. So this is after school, so I'll put it closer to the beginning of the day here. Do I wanna make sure that white space is the same again? No, I don't think it matters on this part, so. I'm just gonna put it here. All right, so faculty meeting, dance practice, dance practice, calc night, dance practice. What was this? Oh, the new game night. Game night. Ooh, competition. Okay, so remember me telling you I would show you about making your own stickers? Now's the time, and it's not even the end. You didn't even have to wait till the very end, like I said. So this is just a series of text boxes made on Word, filled in with that cute little celestial pattern that I just found online. I'm telling you, this stuff's easy. You don't have to have fancy equipment, fancy software. I did make the corners rounded, so I'm just gonna kinda clip the white part a little bit here. Not making the white part rounded, I'm just clipping it off. And then take this, <clears throat> pardon me, and just a regular old glue stick that happens to be purple. It's like it matches. It'll dry clear. <coughs> pardon me. And I will take this guy and I will put him here. And when I made these stickers way back when, I made them narrow so they don't fit in the box perfectly, but I don't mind that a bit. So there we go. Ta da! And then Sunday, 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 Sunday. I don't think there's anything scheduled for Sunday beyond what's on there. So there we go. That is my functional stuff. So now I need to put down some icons. So I do love to plan with icons. They are easy, quick ways to put things that happen a lot. So yeah. Alright, that is done. 
was making sure I was recording. I am. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I'm going to have to pull up some stickers here because there's something else I wanted to do. I'm now remembering that I wanted to put some celestial looking stuff down here. And I want to try some. I've never tried. I printed out this big rectangle. Square. <laughs> rectangle. And I want to do a torn edge down here with it. And I'm really slightly nervous about tearing it from corner to corner. I guess it doesn't have to be perfect, does it? But I kind of want it to go corner to corner. It's not going to. All right, once you get a tear going, it's hard to untear. So I'm gonna take this. I guess I didn't need that washi to go all the way across if I'm doing this. Or I could pull it up here. I'm gonna do it down here. There we go. Oh, I like that. And now I'm gonna pull this up and do the same thing up here. worth the trouble? I'm not really sure, but it's done. It's there. So, ta-da! All right. Um, before I forget about it, I'm going to go ahead and do my work to-do list. So again, I made a sticker that says to do at school. I am a teacher, so that would be work for me. This is a little third sheet from Tool. Happy Planner has things like this too, but I love this size from Tool. And then this is just things that I have to do every week. Like, yeah, it's gonna happen no matter what. And then the rest of this is, you know, other things. And then this will just live in my planner right here. And I can take it out and leave it at school and just bring this home or I can bring this home with me and work. Either way, it doesn't matter. And I think for fun, I'm gonna use some of this washi on the edge. Remember this washi that I said would read really well vertically? I'm gonna do it. There we go. See, that looks nice right there. All right, so that is done there. So now the only thing I have left to do is to play around with some decorations. So what do I wanna decorate with? See if there's anything in here that, count your lucky stars, that's cute, but the blue is way too wrong. I feel like this whole book might be too pastel. Although, aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. That's really sweet. The color isn't right, but it's a clear sticker, so who cares? Good energy is contagious. You know what? <clears throat> I'm using this, and I'll tell you why. It's because it's my husband's way of being. And this is all about his birthday. And this is about him. Like, he exudes good energy. He just does. And it is contagious when he does it. Where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it here? Ah! Apparently something wants me to put it there. I'm going to put it down here. That's just him. That's just him. He has good energy and I can be in the grumpiest, worst mood. And like, he's just peppy and it cheers me up. It makes me mad sometimes because I'm like, I don't want to be in a good mood. Cut it out. But yeah, he's just good at good moods, if that makes any sense. Uh, are these too light? Yeah, I'm closing this book. Um, I'm looking for either something for down here that's decorative or some to-do lists, like checklists, like these. How many dots are there? Seven? I don't want seven dots. I am a big proponent of don't overwork yourself for the sake of overworking yourself. And so I will purposefully not put more to-dos on my list 
just so that I can, you know, force myself to have some non-work time during a day. Um, I can do a black one. Let's put a black one on Thursday. And I could just go ahead and use these things that say to do, can't I? I mean, they're here, so why not? Why not? <clears throat> now, is there something else I can use on, like, the other days? I don't need a to-do list on every day. That, too, is wild look up and get lost. I could put that right there. That's really sweet. Really sweet. Oh, what about one of these? Two of these. What about some of these? All right, let's do that. So let's use this little to do today thing for Saturday. And this one has red dots on it, but I can easily go over those with a pen and make them a different color. Easy. Actually, they almost look like the same color as this. I think they're red, but from far away, they almost read plum like that, so I think they're fine. Okay, I'm happy with those. And I don't put to-do lists on Sunday, and I don't put them on Friday, and Tuesday is birthday day, so I don't wanna put a to-do list there. So, there we go. There's another Look up and get lost. Wonder Seeker, oh, I like that. What can I put along with Wonder Seeker? And I say put along with it because it's got that notch cut out of it. So I wanna put something else. There, maybe something purple. I don't think this book is known for purple, it's more known for blue. And I should put some of these too, right? Shouldn't I? I should. Oh, I like these too, though. Oh, these are cute. Okay. I'm going to use a few of these. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's Aquarius. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to that stuff. I'm pretty sure that's what he is. I don't mean to say that stuff if you do like it. It's just I don't pay attention to it. Now, do I care if that, like, goes through the number? Oh, goodness, it's not the 27th, it's the 26th. Don't tell him I did that. He doesn't watch. He won't know. What do we think of that covering things? I think that's the purpose of clear stickers, right? That's what I think. I think it's fine. I love it, actually. Love it. Well, I kind of want to put a moon here because it says the moon smiled, you know, which is that shape. Can I put a moon smiling there? None of these colors are quite what I want. But... What about this mauve color? I wonder if it'll look right. I don't know if I love that, but... I'm gonna try it. Oh, look, the sticker tore. There's supposed to be longer sparkles there. I wonder if I can pull those up. And, you know, it is a sticker, so I could probably still stick them on. That, like, tore in a perfectly straight line, too. If I put it on right, you won't be able to tell it did. I don't know. Okay, that was weird. Do I want another set of star stickers? I've got a bunch. I think this is still Aquarius, isn't it? This looks like Aquarius. Again, I could put it over to the other side. Put it over here somewhere. I mean, it's like a backwards Aquarius, but whatever.
I don't know. I don't know what I think of it going through the numbers, but <laughs> it's okay. This, that's what I need. Yep. Okay, Wonder Seeker. I love that. I need something to cover that notch. Hey, I could put a happy birthday thingy. Except Sunday's not his birthday. That's weird. Oh, goodness. None of those are the right color. Another quote doesn't make sense to put with a quote. I don't know. I don't know. Urgh. Trust your soul. If I did that, if I put that there. that there. I feel like this stands out too much. Like this is the only bright plummy purple I've got. And you know what? There is this plumish kind of color right here with a heart. So let's do that instead. Okay, that's better. That's better. And now I need some more of that plummy purple color. So I could put some, ooh, what can I do? I need more of that. I need at least one or two more spots of this color. <clears throat> that is what I'm going for, and then this will feel complete to me. Okay, I'm just gonna put some headers just for fun. Keep going and trust yourself. These are not functional today. They are not, but that's okay. So I'm going to do a keep going here. And honestly, I need these because this is going to be the first week my son is back at college and I'm going to be a little down in the dumps. I'm going to stack these right here. That's, that's what I needed. That's good. Now I still got all the plum at the bottom, nothing up at the top. So now I think I need more plum. Plum, plum, plum. Always wonder. I don't have room for that, do I? I guess I could put it right here. <clears throat> here I was saying I didn't want to use that other sticker book because it had pink, but now I'm using all this kind of plum color. I should have plenty of room to still write what I need to do if that's there. Do I like that there? The jury's out on that one. I don't know. Jury is out. <laughs> Did you hear my dog just moan, yawn, whatever? You got this. Trust your soul. All right, let's add those. And then I will be done. I think. Maybe. Inhale courage. Okay. Let's see about adding these, and then I will pretend to be done. <laughs> All right, let's do a you got this for a Monday morning kind of thing. And I will cut that flush this way. That seems like a good Monday morning thing to say. And a trust your soul. And then in, inhale courage. Should I put these things two together? Mm. What to do? Can't get these to stay. I don't usually have a lot to do on Friday, so I feel like I can do this. If you stuck around this whole time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a little something out of this. If you liked what you saw, give me a little thumbs up. You can go ahead and subscribe. That would make my day. Love that. 
And uh, you can catch me at Ricky Mickey Plans or on Instagram. Thanks a bunch. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy planning. Bye-bye.